Hey, this is uh, M24 Tom, and I just launched out of Monterey and on the winch, and we're just going to show you how to do a basic cross-country task. Um, not like a racing task or a cross, you know, you know, badge task or anything like that, but just, hey, I took off one airport and I want to go to a different one. So first thing I'm going to do is switch over to pan mode. And I'm going to scroll over. Actually, you can zoom out a little bit. Show you where we are. And I'm going to say that we're going to try to get to this airport over here, Marin. So I'm just going to set that as my go-to. Okay, so immediately I get that this dark black arrow is telling me that uh, that's the direction I want to go in. This yellow over here is telling me that um, this yellow th minus 343 tells me that I could make it, but I'm going to only have 700 feet of pattern altitude. Um, so maybe we can try to pick the thermal on the way over there. All right. Okay, so just tell me I'm above my final glide, so um, I can make it to that uh, next waypoint. And what's cool is on my circling mode here on the third box on the bottom row, it shows me my waypoint altitude. So that means that if I were to leave the thermal right now and head for that, I'd have 343, 356 um, feet left. Now I've never been there before, so I'm going to try to get a little bit more out of this thermal real quick, especially since it looks like it's a pretty good one. It won't take very long to get another five. Okay, so, and I'm going to roll out going for that dark black line that is at the 11 o'clock mark, 12 o'clock, and roll out. Okay, and in a second it's going to go away from the, it's going to go back to the regular cruise mode, and switch from circling mode to cruise. Okay, so actually we're at final glide mode, because uh, we can make that. And um, in this, the data boxes I've got set up for is um, um, on the top row, again, what speed I should be flying at optimally. So I'm a little slow. Um, trim down a little bit. Next one over is the, um, is the distance, nautical mile, 6.2. Uh, current altitude and height above ground level, next two. And then on the bottom row, final altitude. So that's how many feet I will have when I arrive over my waypoint, um, which is um, the that airport marina that we selected just a few minutes ago. Um, let's see. Um, and the, wait, the next one over, waypoint altitude A, that's going to tell me what, what altitude um, the XCSOR is expecting that I will arrive at. Um, so the final altitude means okay, it's the altitude of the of where you're headed. So say it's 50 feet above sea level, right? Um, plus a thousand feet um, for pattern altitude, plus whatever I'm going to arrive at. So that's the plus 500, um, which you know winds up being 1,600 feet above sea level. Um, the next one is uh, the third box on the bottom row is final glide ratio. So it's what glide ratio I need to make to uh, to make that airport. And then the last box on the bottom row is my current glide ratio. So you know if your current glide ratio is you know 27, and your final glide ratio is 24, then you know I'm gonna make it. Actually, sometimes if I actually just focus on flying, I can get uh, glide ratios a little bit higher. Okay, so that's this screen. I'm going to scroll over to the next screen I've got set up, which I call the, my cross-country screen. Okay, here I've got a different set of data boxes. Um, first on the uh, first box, or info boxes. First box on the top row, again, just my target airspeed that I should be flying at. And again, I'm flying too slow. Um, 
The next one is um, the uh, by arrival altitude, um, including pattern altitude. So I'll be 452 above, which is that same, you know, this this box here um, is the same as, you know, that information there. All right. Um, and again, the next two I always like to keep the same. On the bottom row, the first box is showing me what the name of the airport I'm heading to. So this is Marina, uh, Fort Ord um, Airport. And then um, it is showing me um, what heading I should, or what relative heading I should be steering to be right on track. So right now it's saying I should be a little five degrees to the left. Okay, and when I'm right on it, it will have the chevrons in place. And then um, it's actually that 122.7 is telling me the um, the uh, frequency for the um, for the airport. Uh, next box over showing me the um, the distance, and on the bottom is showing me um, you know the heading I should the same relative heading that I should be heading, which is that same data as the one you know the box previous but you know if you're pressed for space you can you know just use that one I guess uh, what glide ratio I need to get to that waypoint and what my current glide ratio is and that looks like it right down there yep that's it so let's see the wind is coming out of the west so I'm going to land on runway 29. And let's see. You know, hey, you guys don't need to see me do finish this pattern, so that's really the end of the tutorial.